2018 Acura RL Export Hybrid SHAWD Review. Otherwise, from behind the wheel there's only one other small tweak worth mentioning. The RLX's deeply sculpted hood now houses an attractive angular bulge over each front tire, part of the reshaping that also visits the car's nose, sod sails, and rear end for 2018. The RLX's headlamps are restyled and more attractive, as is Acura's new pentagon-shaped grille, which replaces the chrome beak the RLX has worn since 2013. Inside there's a new interior color, Espresso. Bringing the total count to four, the trunk gains close to an extra cubic foot of volume thanks to a smaller, lighter, by 8.2 pounds, battery pack. New to the Acura lineup is the RLX's Traffic Jam Assist feature, which combines adaptive cruise control and lane keeping assist to minimize driver input below 45 mph. We found it effective only on well-marked, reasonably straight freeways that were gorged with slow-moving traffic. But those are the conditions under which Acura designed the system to work, and it does, making small steering corrections and following the vehicle ahead safely at low speeds. The value equation, whereas the 2017 RLX was available in two trim levels, technology package and advanced package, the 2018 lineup has been simplified. The PAWS now is available only as a technology model and the Sport Hybrid only as a loaded advance. At its new asking price of $62,865, the RLX Sport Hybrid comes standard with driver assist technologies and 19-inch wheels that you'll pay extra for from its German competition. Its French drive brother, the PAWS model, increases $450 in cost to $55,865 but replaces the 2017 model 6-speed transmission with Honda's new 10-speed automatic. It uses the same 310-horsepower V6 as the hybrid, although it's rated at 272 pounds FT of torque, a 1-pound FT reduction. The RLX Sport Hybrid is a fine automobile that's less sport sedan than it is compliant cruiser. It's made nicer with the restyling of its nose and backside, and hacking 4 gram from its asking price can only help dealers move it through showrooms, which clearly is Acura's goal. That its all-wheel drive system offers more value in the snow than it does on a winding road shouldn't diminish its appeal. It might not be a first choice for those of us who seek more control on a shapely back road, but it might still be yours.